everybody, James Sabalski and Ray Ferraro for EA Sports. Looking forward to this one tonight. Enough talk, enough hype. Let's do this. Your first period is set to go. Great energy in the barn tonight, and we are underway here. Taken by Flurry. Makes a move in front. Pass save. Oh, he got all of that one. Slides across from the butterfly to make the save, but you still have to be agile, even though you're covering the bottom of the net. Delaware's got the puck in their own end. Looking for space inside the D zone. Toronto's gained possession along the boards. Delaware's got the puck in the defensive end. Both sides mixed up for that battle for the puck along the wall. Delaware's got possession here in the neutral zone. The Leafs have it now. Puck dumped in. Delaware's got possession of the puck. With some open space at center. Puts it on net. Oh, and he didn't get all of it, but just enough to keep it out of the net. Chris's butterfly effect zone ability is when he makes himself big, covers the net, and still has that mobility well down to keep up and make the stop, guys. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. The Leafs cross the line and gain the zone. And he's got that one. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. Pass back to the point. Let's it go! No room for that one to get through. And now it's grabbed by Suzuki. Hugs the board through the neutral zone. Toronto's got control of it now here in the offensive end. The Leafs take over on possession. Wow, the whole team is really under pressure and the fans know it. from skating towards the net and transfer it to his slap shot. That's his off the rush zone ability. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And that's blocked. Stopped by the goaltender. Taken along the wall by Bunting. And he gets in the lane to block that. Retrieves the puck trying to kickstart this power play. Takes it across the blue line. Moves it quickly over to Plenty. Grabs it with the glove. Marner's third eye zone ability is all about his passing skills. He can dish pucks and complete passes that are really difficult to make, guys. He's creative, deceptive, and skilled, and that's really what makes him the playmaker that his teammates just love to play with. Delaware's got a chance to work the transition game now shorthanded. And they'll get it out of the defensive end. Toronto's got the puck behind the net. Takes the feed. Toronto's on the attack. Whoa! Scores! And they put the power in power play. Toronto's effort pays off with a 1-0 lead. And now it has to be relentless. Just because you're up by one doesn't mean you sit back. Puck is dropped and play resumes. Dumps it in. Delaware's going to play the puck from behind the cage. And he slides it quickly to Ranta. Puts it on goal. Great chance and an even better save. Past the halfway mark of this period, the Leafs lead it 1-0. Toronto's got possession here in their own end. Beautiful feed up ahead from the right wing side. Shot, and there's the save on the play. Delaware's moving it up the ice. 
Corrado's got a hold of it against the wall. Suzuki's got it across the line. Oh, and he somehow got a little piece of it, and it stays out of the net. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. He grabs the puck here at the point. Oh, and a good textbook hit there. Inside the offensive end, now down the left. Toronto's got the puck. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. The Leafs take it along the wing. Delaware's ready to go on the attack. Slick feed. The singles got it in the offensive zone. And he comes up with a huge stop. Crisp's gonna slow things down and up for the whistle. Well, you gotta kill the play eventually. That way everyone can get reorganized. Puck possession so critical in today's game and the official ready to drop the puck right here. Delaware's got it and they're on the attack. Rips it and he stands tall and goal. All right, time to get a clean sheet of ice here as period number one comes to an end. As you heard the horn sound, we'll be back with much, much more as this is going to be a fun one today. Teams are back on the ice. Both squads gliding into position for the start of period number two. Second frame is underway as the puck is dropped. Rips it. Oh, and he just got enough of that to keep it out. Here's a short pass to Lynn. Steps across the line and on the attack down the right side. Toronto's got the puck along the wall. Unable to reach that one. Handles the pass. Matthews looks so good out here again. I'm telling you, James, you score an overtime winner. Your confidence starts to grow. You get into the next game. He's got another goal already. I'm expecting more from him. And that pass doesn't go. Picked up along the wall by Marner. Moves it to Matthews. Too much congestion blocks the shot. Delaware's got the puck in the defensive end. And he handles a cross-ice pass. Long lead pass into the neutral zone. Good reach of the stick to knock the puck away. Oh, he gets all that one with the pad. Goalies love the butterfly. They know they've got a lot of the net covered, so he slides across. Doesn't worry about this shot. Can't find his man. The Leafs played along the boards. Quick pass to Brody. Booming shot! Posted in for the goal! Perfect shot. The goaltender's in position. Can't catch up to the puck. And it's off the pipe and in. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. The Leafs now have extended their lead to two in the second. They've been looking good here so far tonight. I've liked the way they've played. And while the game's a one-goal game, you still have to be pretty careful. Now they've got two. You can open it up a little bit, try and get a third one. Fires it on net. Bowling with a stop. Crisp's got the puck, and he's going to go for the whistle here. He hasn't had a lot to do this period, but he's been excellent and has been able to control the pace of play. Past the midway mark of the frame, James and Ray with you tonight. The Leafs now lead by two. Puck grabbed by Lejasol. Turns it aside with the glove. Puck scooped up by Bunting. Dumps it into the O-zone. Delaware's got a hold of it along the wall. Feeds the puck over to Maltsev. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Oh, oh, misses! You gotta like that he got into a position to shoot the puck. It's a dangerous scoring chance, but he's gotta get that on the net. Here's a shot! That's blocked! The Wolves have it now. Delaware's across the blue line. Reaches out and uses the stick. Can't connect! The Leafs have it against the wall. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Fires it! Glove save! Quick reflexes! Nice zone entry on the left side. Into the offensive zone down the right wing. Toronto's gonna play it from the corner. Let's it fly! Oh, and he stops that one. 
The Wolves move it in. Shot. Denies him with the save. Denies him again. Quick feed to Gaunt. Denies him. 46 seconds left. 27 seconds on the clock. Goes right to the crease. Decides to think about it. There's the buzzer bringing the second period to an end. Been a great night of hockey here on EA Sports, and we've got a third period just around the corner. Welcome back to EA Sports. The final frame looms here as the officials set to drop the puck on period number three. Final frame is underway here. You know you love to hear Ray Ferraro's takes, and he is between ice level with his assessment of the first two periods. The Wolves are in this game, and, and maybe it's a little bit of a miracle. I mean, they haven't had many shots on goal, not many chances. That's got to change here in period three. Takes the feed at center for the right wing. Here's a chance! Makes the save, and he got a blocker on it! Positioning's perfect. He gets into the butterfly and makes the save. Oh, that's a big-time save. I think he got it with a toe. But he came out and challenged him. Good save. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. Ranta's gaining momentum. The Leafs have the puck now. Back to the point it goes. Made that stop. That's the goalie's favorite save right there with the glove. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. Toronto's got a 2-0 lead. The frozen biscuits dropped and we are back underway here. With the steal. Moves it quickly over to Nylander. And a great save! Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. And that goes off the stick and off to the side. Suzuki's gained possession and his great work inside the face-off circle pays off again. Quick pass to Fleury. On the attack along the boards. Delaware's bench has a collective groan here. That shot hits the post and stays out. They're trying to work their way back. From one point man to another. Turns it away on a slap shot. Here's a short pass to Tavares. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. Good heads up defensive play as he extends the stick. Slides it quickly to Maltsev. These games used to drive me crazy. As somebody that was supposed to score, there'd be chances all over the place. You wait for one goal or two goals that crack the game open. They never seem to come. The chances are there. The production is not. Past the midway mark in this period, Toronto's got some breathing room as they lead it 2-0. Camps won a big draw on their own end. Great poke by True. Brody's picking up steam. The Leafs take it along the wall. Takes a wrist shot, denies them in close. I thought they worked the puck around pretty good here. They get a good chance on goal, but not to be. The Leafs take possession off the faceoff. Back to the blue line. Moves it to Kemp. And that's deflected. Up along the wing. Into the offensive end now. Toronto's gained possession. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. Passes it over to Kemp. Gaining momentum along the wing. The Leafs played along the wing. 
And he comes up big with the stick save, getting all of it with the paddle. Let's send it back down to ringside with Carlin Bade. Johns is getting my vote in our matchup, guys. I know he hasn't recorded any points, but I still think he's played hard and has not gotten discouraged. Puck picked up by Chatfield. And he takes the feed. Gets the puck in deep. Picked up along the boards by Kelt. The Leafs gain control of the puck against the wall. Kerfoot's crossed the line and gained the zone. Quick pass to Yarncroft. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. Here in the late going of the frame, and it's a comfortable 2 0 lead we're looking at right now. The Leafs win the draw. Scooped up along the wall by Hall. Under a minute to go here in regulation time. Nice defensive robbery on that. Down the left wing, across into the offensive end. Delaware's trailing. That's why they've got the extra attacker out on the ice and the goalie on the bench. Whoa! It's a nice Well, you start to wonder if it's ever going to happen. They had so many shots. The goalie's great. The defending's been really solid. Eventually, you think, is it ever happening? Well, there it is. It's in the net. Delaware's got a hold of the puck off the draw. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Delaware's emptied the net. The extra attacker's now out on the ice. Toronto's got the puck along the boards. Looking for space inside the D zone. To the empty net, and that should do it as he puts it into the empty net. You ever notice how nobody ever really celebrates an empty net goal, but inside they're like, yes, I scored. I'm thinking you probably parted for your two, all of them. <laughs> Teams are ready to go, and we're about moments away from puck drop. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. And this one is all over as the final horn sounds. It's like the old song goes, all they do is win, win, win. Man, it's fun when you play like this. Your team goes into a game you almost know you're going to win, and they've put together a long winning streak. Hooray, Ferraro. My name is James Sabalski. Thanks so much for joining us, everybody. Have a great night.